And finally, the top 10 ones, as I said, this is kind of Kali put most of the well-known used tools. Aircrack is pretty cool for cracking Wi-Fi networks. Uh, nowadays, it's not that successful. Probably five years ago was very successful because most of the Wi-Fi's were web enabled, was, which was a pretty weak protocol and you can find easily find passwords for Wi-Fi networks. Nowadays, it's kind of more difficult with WPA protocol, but still possible. Borp Suite, as you saw, is a proxy to the web to find vulnerabilities in web applications. Hydra is pretty cool. It's going to allow you to brute force services to find passwords. As you can see here, you can use a password list and you can provide the FTP server, SMTP for web, web email server, web applications for login credentials. And it's pretty powerful, it's pretty cool. And um, for password crack, password um, brute forcing. We have here uh, John the Ripper, which is a offline password cracker. Pretty useful if you wanna find passwords found in your Windows hashes or in your uh, zip, RAR archives, or in obviously in Linux passwords, many, many, many formats it, it supports. Valtego, as I said, is for you to identify, uh, is to do threat intelligence, to find connections between assets, users, organizations. Metasploit frame framework, anytime you wanna configure exploits, create your own exploits, or use exploits already uh, for different services is the way to go. And map, so just a port scanner, pretty powerful. If you wanna know which uh, ports are open in specific host, OWASP zap, that's from OWASP, is similar to Burp Suite, I, in my opinion, less powerful, but it is open source and I mean, Burp Suite is also open source. It has the licensed version, but in my opinion, OWASP Zap is less powerful than, than Burp, but still it also allows you to do pretty cool scanning, allows you to do interception of request response when trying to test web applications, uh, allows you to do fuzzing too. SQL map, pretty cool tool when you have a vulnerability in a web application, which is SQL injection related. This tool is gonna help you to get a remote shell or to dump the content of the database. Wireshark is just a network sniffer for you to analyze packets going on through the network. So these are just quick view of all the tools used uh, available in Kali, many of them are gonna be used through our cybersecurity think tank certifications. So we are gonna make sure to mention them so that you know which ones are related to, related to which certifications and just be ready to play with them.